Hi everyone, this is Joanne for Bramble Fox. How are you today? Happy holidays. I am going to show you what I did here. I used all scraps. I'm on this mission to use up my scraps lately. I had all these little scraps of paper, so I tore them all with the Bramble Fox paper tearing tool and you have a scallop on this side. We have tons of tools in case you did not know that and I showed you how to use it in my last video so I thought I would just go ahead and glue that down to save some time. I am going to be scrapping some photos of myself and my best friend from last Christmas Eve. We have a huge party at our house every Christmas Eve so this is us and then we got matching rings and I made her a layout and put her put it in one of those shadow boxes that I use all the time. I get those from Michaels. So the this is the Hip Kit Club November 2022 collection, their Christmas collection. And this is chipboard frame. So I put a little bit of foam on the back, but not in the corner. So this would lay on top of that. And now it's all at the same level. All right. So I'm thinking about making three photos on this layout and I'm going to make these a little crooked it gives me a nice space here for an embellishment cluster and I'm going to put my large photo up here so four by six so literally scraps look at this scrap but I just made the top of it be a tag you're never going to know once it's tucked in I mean you and I are the only ones who know so I'm going to put a couple tags up there I love using tags Look at how adorable this is from the paper snips. I want to sh this bear to show, but I don't want to lose the awesome sentiment on the bottom. I can use that elsewhere. So I'm just going to go right ahead and cut that and save it. I might be able to get it on this layout. I don't know. And I'm going to put him up here, just peeking out a little bit. I think I'll make him straight. And today I am using the new Poinsettia Perspectives Package. Look how awesome it is. It comes with pink and with like this maroon burgundy-ish color, which I love this color. And I think that the Catherine Pooler Cranberry Fizz ink is absolute perfection for this color so i'm going to bring in a bramble fox stencil i'm currently obsessed with this stencil i will link everything below and i'm just going to bring in some of that cranberry color into this so it matches those poinsettia perspectives i think they're beautiful so i'm just going to put a little bit underneath this photo have this chipboard it was an ornament frame you could have made a really nice shaker out of it but I don't think that I want to do that I just want to tuck it in to the corner here because it's super pretty and I think that would be the only way that I would use that so I'm going to put that there for now I'll glue it down in a second I also have a couple chipboard um holly berry leaves and I thought that they would look really cool as photo corners so let me get my glue and we'll glue that down I'm just going to put a couple little dots on here because I don't want the glue to seep out onto my photo there's one there and another one you know me I gotta use all the things Let's try some of these. This is a present, a piece of ephemera, which I really like because this is all about the gifts and the adorable penguins from the paper snips. I love those so much. I'm just going to sneak them in there because he's got that cute little pink outfit on that is matching with this layout very well. I love him. He's just so 
cute. This is also from the Paper Snips. It says ho, ho, ho. I want to put that somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe I can put it right on top of the present. Now I'm thinking we need to decorate down here. Also from the Paper Snips is this tab that says incredible. I was thinking about putting that there. These are some fussy cut flowers from one of the pattern papers. I think this might have been from 2021. I'm not really sure. Um, but I had them. They look good. I'm going to use them. And then I also, hmm, I'm thinking about putting in a leaf. And then this is a Bramble Fox perspective leaf from the same poinsettia package. I want to put that in there. It's really cool when you mix in your perspective with ephemera. And I can't get that right. I'm trying to get that in there. Okay, that's looking good. Perhaps something like that. I might change that up a little bit. Maybe put the pink flower on top and break up those other two burgundy ones. I was thinking I would put this here. This says for you. I could put it there too. That would also look really cute. I'm not sure which side I want it on now. I think it looks better over here. Let's put a little something up here. Because you know me, I have to put stuff everywhere. But that's okay. Um, I have a banner. Which I love. It's so cute. I think I used the same exact banner on my other layout, which is nice because maybe I could put them on the same page together. I think this is supposed to go this way. And then that's a chipboard present. Then what shall I do? I have a chipboard heart that I'm going to just put right over that present there. And for good measure, I think we'll throw in a leaf or two. Here's some little holly berries that will match the others. If I want to put that there. And then I'm also going to put in one of the Bramble Fox poinsettias. And it has a hole in the middle, so you could put twine through that. You could put an enamel dot on top of it, a gem, anything you wanted. So let me get the pieces of ephemera that I thought that might work over here. This car with a tree and presents on the top. And I will probably never use that. But I'm going to use it on this because it takes her hour and a half or more to get to my house. So that'll be good for the travel indication that she does gonna put some flowers in here with this car and I'm, oops I'm also gonna put in this awesome burgundy poinsettia perspective because I am in love with that I think it is amazing and I'm going to put the leaves underneath this flower here so I would put this flower up on a piece of foam so they would all be resting at the same height like that there we go then I'm even thinking about putting in another one of these pink ones just to bring some more pink into this cluster so something like this that I just hit I will probably maneuver that around a little bit when I go to adhere it down but I'm thinking about this title and I want to maybe put that there and then have this chipboard snowman and a Christmas tree next to him so I have to move that up something like that and then I'm thinking that I would put just a little teeny bit of this stenciling behind and right in here just a very small section of it so they all match together okay friends we are all done and I think the last thing I'm going to do is splatters and then I'll bring this up close. I didn't do anything different. I placed things a little bit better with the glue. And I did put some honeybee stamp gems 
all around things and some pink fresh gems and I put gems right on the perspectives too so when I bring that up close I will show that to you and just a couple around I don't want any on him okay I don't really like the way that those splatters are drying but we're gonna get over it and it is what it is all right let's come in close yeah I don't like how those dry so I probably would not do that again with that ink but that's okay see they're kind of splotchy but they still look good it's all right so there's that cluster up there and look you can see I put honeybee stamp gems in the middle of the poinsettia perspective and I think it looks really cute and it's adding like some really nice bling in here and look at that tag with the polar bear I love him he's so adorable and that poinsettia is amazing I love the detail in that perspective it's wonderful here is this one and I put a little journaling circle in there and it's very simple 2022 BFF presents and here's this with these awesome leaf perspectives too and a paper snip that says incredible and there you go I'm gonna go like this so you can see the dimension some of the poinsettias are open like this too I love that set. I think it's wonderful. And I hope you enjoyed this. I will link all the Bramble Fox products that I used below. And join our Facebook group. And this also has a monthly Fox Box subscription where you would get everything delivered to you monthly, exclusive monthly items. If you have any questions about Bramble Fox, please let me know. And happy Christmas scrapping to you, my friends. Have a good day. Bye.